Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Crazy story for you guys here today. American rapper Jay Fizzle, also known as Paper Route, has 14 kids with 14 different mothers and hopes to have more. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. So 14 kids. I think you had 10 last time he was on here. 14 man. plus. 14 plus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take you ain't done, is you? I I look. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. You gonna be real? Come on, be real with us. Nah, I ain't done. <laughs> I ain't done. <laughs> I, uh, I told y'all put this shit so it really about as long as you take care of it, it's all good. So that don't even matter, you feel me? I got the mama and the and the babies, you feel me? So all them got different babies. All of got different baby mamas. I got all them too, you feel me? I'm on some ball shit, you feel me? I told you I'm printing this shit for real for real. That's a lot of mouths to feed, bro. I ain't tripping, I put on printing this shit. Yeah. I'ma show you what you Mercy. All right, guys, so you guys see it with your own eyes. He brought most of his baby mamas, or if not all of them. I actually count more than 14 women in this video. Maybe they're like side chicks. But for whatever reason, these are those women. These are the mothers of those 14 children that belong to this Memphis rapper. Now, the question is here, can he provide what these kids need? He said something there. He says, as long as you can provide for them or take care of them, and I'm assuming he means afford to have that many kids and that's all that that matters which i think is just a real lack of understanding that most people don't realize today it's becoming way more popular for people to think that they don't need a two-parent household right that as long as you're providing financially for that kid he gets to eat the mother's there then you don't need two parents in that house there's a part of me that wonders if nick cannon is sort of responsible for what might be more black men or men of other races kind of continuing this trend of men who can afford to have a bunch of kids having them but not necessarily being very very involved in their lives now you can argue and say that nick cannon is actually involved in these women's lives i don't know what their own personal lives look like but i doubt that any of these men with their schedules if they're working as hard as they work to make that type of money, have time to be there for 14 kids, right? This is crazy. It's bad coffee. This coffee smells like shit. It's hard enough for a man who's just has a regular job to make time for his kids, let alone you've got 14 baby mamas and 14 kids, right? But as always, man, let's see what the internet actually had to say about this. Let's check out a few of these comments. The first comment here reads, we owe Nick Cannon an apology is what I'm assuming this comment is supposed to read. Um, very interesting. Next comment. But women need birth control, though, with the question mark. And someone else responded to that. A woman says exactly. And what this chick is basically saying, the first comment is like, so we're the ones that need birth control. No, obviously men do is what she's saying. Next comment here reads, right from another woman and finally the last comment from a gentleman says you really think it's the man's problem right not the 14 women to this one dude and he openly saying he wants more that's true i think there's equal responsibility in this situation he says and i want to have more and all the chicks start laughing like they think this is cool they think it's okay another proof of female nature man if you look at this situation you have one guy who has enough resources to be able to provide for multiple children. These women can go have healthy relationships with men who aren't necessarily as financially successful as this man, but what do they choose? They choose the rapper. They choose the guy who has um, more disposable income. Why? Because women would rather share a man who they view as alpha in their own eyes than they would a man who they view lesser than beta male, female nature. It is just what it is. But the question is, what is better for a healthy society, right? We've got another comment here from a man that reads, amazing, as picky as females are, they all picked him and decided every day until about nine months to carry on his legacy. That's women empowerment with the quotation marks. <laughs> this is facts. 
right? Being picky goes out of the window when he checks off a few of those economic attraction triggers, right? So a woman actually responded to this guy and said, maybe they don't believe in a... Oh, that's it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, these women are definitely... Uh, that's the reason they're in this situation is they, they want to keep the children. They don't believe in... This is hilarious. She goes on to say, and all females aren't that picky with the shrug emoji, but I'm sure lies were involved. Then again, nowadays, who knows? So again, here trying to uh, kind of just rid these women of accountability. They were lied to. They were trapped. Next comedy from a man reads, I don't get the outcome or the point in having so many kids with different mothers. I get he can provide for them and everything that's cool, but he laughing like that shit cool or something. What's the goal at the end of the day? This is a good question. What is the goal at the end of the day? Someone responded to this comment said to take over the world. Now the person added to this thread and said exactly, they're like, exactly, what's the goal of this? Why would you want to have this many kids? A woman added to this thread and said, did this nigga look like he got goals? <laughs> ah, that's funny. And then the final comment here says, hell nah, he in a race with Nick Cannon though, for <laughs> that's, that's facts, <laughs> with the laughing emoji. Now, I'm curious to know just real quick what this rapper's net worth is. All right, so what naturally comes to mind for me is can this rapper actually afford to raise up 14 kids with his net worth? There was a post um, recently that I saw about the rise of the cost of raising up a child up to age 17. It now cost almost $234,000 to raise a child until age 17. So you take that figure, you times that by 14, and what do you get? You get about $3.2 million. Well, if you do some research on Jay Fizzle's net worth, there's not much to really go off of. But I found something from digitalnetworth.com. I don't know how trustworthy these guys are as far as like information. Um, but they say that his net worth is somewhere around three to five million dollars. In fact, there's some other websites that even said it was less than that, like one mil to about five million dollars, right? And based on that net worth and how much we know it costs to raise up a child until the age 17. If we include his expenses and just life in general, he doesn't have enough to raise up those kids, right? If those numbers are right, they might not be right, but if those numbers are right, the best he can do is afford to provide them the life experience of a low income single parent household. And we already know the negative stats of low income households, right? Moving on, let's keep checking out these comments. Another gentleman here added, sad part is this man got all 14 of his baby mamas together and civilized. Many can't get just one other parent on the same page. That is impressive. Salute King, this it. let's give, he gets props for that. That's a skill in its own. That is true, right? Did he pay him to do it? Maybe. Can you, can you consider doing that for your baby mama? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, right? <laughs> he goes on to say they're happier than many of these single women out here and definitely happier than the baby mamas that can't get no support from the one baby dad. Hmm, that's a point. It's a good point. Everything ain't for everybody, but from this one video, it looks civilized to me. That's true. You know, the video looks like, you know, people were able to come together and be peaceful. We've got another comment here from a woman that says he can't even talk. 14 women didn't notice. Uh, well, perhaps he has other gifts. Yeah, obviously he does. And finally, the last comment here reads, he bet not ever go broke or child support going to hit like crazy. That is a fact, right? I think few people who are in this position where they have multiple children approach it with a financial plan in mind. If anything was to go wrong with finances and he didn't invest the way he was supposed to invest, he would feel the full weight of these decisions for sure via child support and we all know states don't play when it comes to their child support man as always curious to know what you guys think leave your comments down below i appreciate you for checking out another episode of the coffee pod man till next time i'm out peace